Hello dear student and welcome to the discussion on the quick solutions of All India Caste Test Series Medical 2020. This is for the two year medical program and this is test number 3 specifically the code C and D. This test was conducted on 27th of December 2020. Now let us proceed to the first question of this very test. The first question says a monkey is sitting on a tree limb. The limb exerts a normal force of 20 Newton and a friction force of 15 Newton. The magnitude of total force exerted by the limb on the monkey is. The students, it is given that the normal force is equal to 20 Newton, while the frictional force F is equal to 15 Newton. The resultant force F can be written as the resultant of the normal force that is N square plus the frictional force. So this will be equal to 20 square that is 400 plus 15 square that is 225. This gives us a value of root of 625 and this will be equal to 25 Newton. And hence for this question the correct answer turns out to be option number 3. Now let us proceed to the question number 2. In this question a force of 5 Newton changes the velocity of a body from 10 meter per second to 20 meter per second in 6 seconds. The force required to bring the change in 1.5 second is. The student here it is given that the change in momentum is same. So delta P1 is equal to delta P2 because the velocity change is same and the mass will be same as well. The change in momentum can be written as the force multiplied by the time duration. So F1 into delta T1 will be equal to F2 into delta T2. We can write down that F into 6 will be equal to F2 into 1.5 and from this F2 dear student turns out to be equal to 20 Newton and therefore for this question the correct answer is option number 4. Now moving on to the question number 3. In question 3, a mass of 100 kg is placed on a rough inclined plane of inclination 30 degrees. The coefficient of friction is 1 by root 3. The minimum force required parallel to the plane to keep the mass in equilibrium is. The student, let us draw a diagram to understand this question. This is the inclined plane and on this a mass of 100 kg is kept. The inclination is also given to be equal to 30 degrees. The coefficient of friction mu is equal to 1 by root 3. We have to find out the minimum force required parallel to the plane to keep the mass in equilibrium. Let the force be capital F. There will be a downward force mg sin theta and there will be a frictional force F1 as well. Now dear student, the F can be written to be equal to mg sin theta minus F1. So this will be equal to 100 into 9.8 into sine 30 minus F1 dear student will be equal to mu mg cos theta that will be 1 by root 3 into 100 into 9.8 and cos theta will be cos 30 that is root 3 by 2. On solving this we get a value of 0 and hence for this question the correct answer is as per the given options option number 1. Now moving on to the question number 4. Question 4 says the body of mass 1 kg is moving with velocity 4i cap plus 3j cap. So the velocity is given as 4i cap plus 3j cap. The magnitude of this velocity dear student will be equal to under root of 4 square plus 3 square that is 5 meter per second. It changes to minus 6i cap. So the final velocity is given as minus 6i cap plus 2k cap. And again the magnitude of P will be equal to under root of 6 square plus 2 square and this will be equal to root of 40. We have to find out the work done. The work done this one will be equal to the change in kinetic energy that is half m v square minus u square. This will be equal to half into mass is 1. v square will be root of 40 square minus u square will be 5 square. On solving this we get a value 7.5 joules and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 2. Now let us move to the question number 5. In this question a force acts for 8 seconds on a body of mass 5 kg at rest on a smooth horizontal surface. The force then stops acting and the body describes 80 meters in next 5 seconds. The force acting on the body is. Dear student, in the fifth question it is given that the mass is 5 kg and the force acts for 8 seconds. 
and it is given that the force stops acting then and the body moves 80 meter next 5 second. Let us find out the final velocity attained by the body. The final velocity will be the distance that is 80 meters in 5 seconds. So, 80 by 5 that is 16 meter per second. The final momentum therefore will be equal to m multiplied by v that is 5 into 16 that is 80 kg meter per second. Now, from the Newton second law we can write down that final momentum will be equal to force multiplied by time. So, 80 will be equal to force multiplied by time here time is given as 8. So, this means that force will be equal to 10 Newton and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 1.